Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. And today I want to show you what's going on with the baby pak choy that we planted together. We we put a bunch of seeds, uh, like microgreen style, where it's nice and compact. And you can see right over here in the second that it's beginning to sprout a lot more. And it's starting to look a lot more dense, thankfully. And this plant grows really well together, nice and compact. So you could grow a bunch of seeds really close together and it should do just fine. And you see right over here on the 4th, it's finally sprouting a lot bigger and it's getting a lot taller. So it looks like most of the seeds have, have germinated already that I put in there. At least the ones that will germinate by this point, I guess. And what I'm going to do is basically wash off some of the, the cocoa cord that's right there at the top of the, the Rockwell cubes. Now, what, the reason why I used two medias was basically because I initially planted a bush, bunch of seeds inside of the the Rockwell cubes and it looks like some of them sprouted some of them didn't and I wanted it to grow a lot more compact how it is basically in front of you here so you can see when I flip it around the root system is growing nicely so what I did was basically I just added a bunch more seeds on top of the the Rockwell cubes and I covered it up with a thin layer of some uh, cocoa core you could see right above there and so what I did was basically just wash off the cocoa core as best as I could this way not too much of it gets in, into my system here a little bit is still gonna get in so that's okay so looking inside you could see how the root system has developed really well it looks really cool actually on top of the, the rockwell cubes here and in between the the cocoa core you could see all these white beautiful roots kind of spreading out going all the way around and i've i've yet to see what it looks like inside so I'll just kind of squeeze it out and i'm sure it's kind of enveloped uh, the rockwell cube quite a bit but i'm really interested to see how it looks especially considering the way it's grown on top it's really really interesting for me right now and let's just pop everything out and see how things are looking wow so that looks really cool now you could see the roots have completely grown through the bottom and going all through the sides and everything like that so i'm basically just gonna plant it in this ebb and flow kit that i that i put together and it's just a really simple way for me to grow my plants and a lot of different plants in the same container at once and it's been doing really well for these other plants so why not put this this one in here as well and i grew pak choy in this container as well you guys may have seen previous episodes if you want you can check it out i may post a, a link to a, like a harvest video down, down below so you see right here i'm just gonna find a nice spot and i have the the water running right now so you could see that it's nice and high and it makes it a little easier so i basically just moved over all the clay pebbles there just to find like a nice little position for it and once i find it that spot all you got to do is just basically cover it up with uh, the clay pebbles and it looks like it's not deep enough so i gotta go a little bit lower actually and usually i would plant with one or two at a time but since it's six together six rockwell cubes together you know it's a little bit harder so we're just gonna find a nice spot right there and pass it along Looks like I kind of knocked over the, the Swiss shard a little bit right there. That's all right. As well as damaged the tomato plant. Oops. That should do just fine. The tomato plant has a huge root system. We got to do an episode on that. It's a really interesting comparison to the other tomato plant right now. And you could see I basically found its nice little home right here. And I'm going to show you what the plant looks like a couple of days basically after I planted in this container here. Or just about a week after. So you see basically how things are looking. And I got plenty of space to grow other plants as well right now. So there's a nice little close up of how it looks. And let me show you what the root system looks like kind of on the inside. I'm still debating what to paint this with because I don't want to use regular paint that's going to seep in back into the container here. So I got to figure out what's the best thing to use right now. And the Swiss chard roots look absolutely amazing. You can really see how they enveloped this entire container. And on the 7th, this is basically today, you could see how things are looking, absolutely gorgeous. And it's really, really like dense right now. It's looking really nice, I think. So I'm excited to see how things grow. And if I'm able to grow it this way, it seems like I'm gonna get a lot of plants at once. So as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon for more.